It's important to understand that it's okay for your CGM system and BGM readings to be different. Let me explain why. There are two ways in which you can measure glucose levels. One measures the glucose levels in the blood. This requires an at-home finger prick and is read using a blood glucose meter or BGM. The other measures the glucose levels in the interstitial fluid, which is the fluid in between your cells. This requires a continuous glucose monitoring sensor, such as your Dexcom real-time CGM system. While both measure your glucose levels, they do so at different stages. Glucose enters the bloodstream where your BGM measures from. It is then transported into the interstitial fluid, which is where your CGM system measures from. This is why you may see slight differences in the readings between the two devices. The average lag time for Dexcom RT-CGM is approximately four minutes. Now let's look at how this lag may affect your readings. Imagine your glucose levels are trailers attached to a tractor. The first trailer would be your BGM readings. The third trailer would be your CGM readings and between them is the lag. As we see here, your glucose levels are constantly changing. Even when moving slowly, there can be a difference between your CGM system and BGM readings. But that's okay, both readings can be accurate. And with a CGM, you're also able to use the trend arrows that show if your glucose is trending upwards or downwards to give you the bigger picture. When you eat carbohydrates, your glucose levels may rise sharply. And when you exercise or take insulin, they may drop quickly. This is when you may see the biggest difference between a CGM and BGM reading, but that's also okay. As we saw earlier, whilst they are both measuring your glucose levels, they are measuring them at slightly different stages. The BGM measures your glucose levels as it enters the bloodstream, and Dexcom real-time CGM systems measures your glucose levels when they are transported to the interstitial fluid, which comes second. Now that we know both readings are accurate, what are the benefits of CGM versus BGM? Well, BGM only gives you a reading when you do a finger prick test, as shown in red dots here. So you may be experiencing a hypo or hypoglycemia between readings and be completely unaware. It gives you a snapshot of your glucose level, a number at one point in time, and you have no idea where that number is heading, up or down. Whereas Dexcom real-time CGM systems are more like a story. They measure your glucose in real time, providing you with continuous, accurate readings and trends. Your Dexcom sensor transmits glucose readings every five minutes to your receiving device. This could be a receiver or a phone or both. And because all Dexcom CGM systems offer alerts that aim to keep you in range, you'll know if you are heading high or low and how fast, giving you time to act and make better treatment decisions. So instead of a snapshot, you get the full story. If your Dexcom CGM system doesn't show both a number and an arrow, or your readings do not match your symptoms, there may be a connection problem. This is where you can use your BGM to double check your readings so you can continue making diabetes treatment decisions. There are a few things that you can do to ensure your Dexcom readings are as accurate as possible. Firstly, make sure your sensor is fitted on fatty tissue. Secondly, check the direction of your arrows on your CGM system. If there is an up or down arrow, wait until the arrow is horizontal and then test again. Finally, consider a one-off calibration. This should only be required if the numbers deviate more than 20% for readings larger than 3.9 millimoles per litre or more than 1.1 millimoles per litre for readings lower than 3.9 millimoles per litre and your expectations or symptoms fit the meter value but not the Dexcom reading. Before doing this, we would also recommend you check that your BGM is accurate. Things to remember. It's okay for your BGM and CGM readings to be different because they are measuring your glucose levels at different stages. You may see bigger differences when you eat, exercise or take insulin because your levels may rise or drop quickly. You can use your Dexcom directional arrows to see where you are heading and anticipate your treatment needs. Dexcom is approved for treatment decisions without the need to finger prick.